Hello. How's everybody doing? Welcome to the Thursday gig, solo gig. Um, hope everybody's well. I realized last week, hello there. I realized last week that um, the new Instagram live means that you don't, the time doesn't run out after an hour. So I thought we were gonna be chucked off after an hour. So I put the number one song, which was Landslide, on another video, and I didn't need to. So I know that this week, that we can go a little longer if we need to. That was love. Um, so, I'll take my time. Um, as for this week, I've done my best. I've, I've taken some of your selections. I've taken some Snow Patrol songs. There's a... Tired Pony song in there. There's a song that I sang but didn't write. Um, so <clears throat> I've tried to stop gulping your water. Everyone's a critic. Everyone's a critic. Uh, so I'm going to start with a song that keeps getting requested, but I haven't done. But I haven't done I haven't done live yet. Don't think I have. No, I haven't done it. I'm pretty sure I haven't done it. So ten. I mean it's ten, it's arbitrary. These are not this is not the top top ten. This is just Ten songs. Okay. Only the faintest, only the faintest clouds buries you, buries me. So fire your engine to see if I give it down. We'll be dust instantly. Caught in a jet stream, caught in a gorgeous house, all the world lost in noise. Use me forever, use me for rocket fuel, I'll be air, I'll be fire. Say you love me like the silence of the turning earth You say you love me like the endless roar of modern life You say you love me like the laughter and the kiss back tears You say you love me like the past and now the coming years Will you remember, what will you think of me, after I say goodbye? Returning in bodies, plants in the sand will squeeze, in between shoeless feet. You love me like the slivered gold of dying days. I know you love me like an ancient history brought to life. I know you love me like the sunlit water on your skin. I know you love me like a million times I never said. me like the silence of the turning earth. You say you love me like the endless roar of modern life. You say you love me like
like the laughter and the kiss back tears You say you love me like the past, the now, the coming years So um, that song, somebody's just asking, what is this song? That song is on the album 100 Million Suns, Snow Patrol. It's called Engines. And it's currently the most requested Snow Patrol song, I'm guessing because I have only just played it now for the first time. And we didn't, um, we didn't ever play it live, I don't think, as a band. Um, which is a shame. And I've forgotten the really lovely guitar bit. So, unfortunately, there we are. So, um, next, over to Mr. George Lucas, of course, and the, 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 the fine gentlemen and ladies from the Industrial Light and Magic uh, for this extraordinary display in uh, computer wizardry, technological mastery. Nine. Um, I'm gonna play, um, I'm gonna play, I got a wee text message from Tom Simpson. Hello Tom, how's it going? Love you. Um, I'm gonna play a Tired Pony song at night. There's gonna be lots of covers in this, by the way. Um, lots of different Tired Pony songs got requested. I'm gonna play this one. I'm not sure I've ever played it live. I might have done, but I don't know. This is called Northwestern Skies. It's the first song on the first Tired Pony album. It's not like it was before. There's a beauty in slamming doors. And the lightning plays in your eyes. As it cracks through northwestern sky Girl, you were beautiful before But in the cyclone I love you more There's a pause in the faintest smile As the storm rages on for miles No answers in the tempest Just a million other questions So just let it take you over So that we can learn our lesson And this is just God ridiculous Cause it's burned through the both of us And in the crumble down cinema We can hide where we always hide On the blank screen project our lives husband and you as wife And as the storm outside dissipates The screen wipes the ticker tape There's no answers in the tempest Just let it take you over So that we can learn our lesson Oh, 
Excuse me. Ooh, okay, this is next. All right. So, Mr. George Lucas, take it away. Eight, who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? Um, this is a cover version. Um, and lots of songs by this band have been requested. Again, the, the, the top 10 is arbitrary. Um, this band have probably requested um, just as much as any other band that you've requested. So they're certainly not at eight. I've just tried to put it in an order of set list more than anything, really. So the original version of this song is a lot higher up than I'm doing it. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Did my best to notice when the call came down the line Up to the platform of surrender I was broad but I was kind And sometimes I get nervous when I see an open door Close your eyes Clear your heart Cut the cord Are we human? Or are we dancers? My sign is vital My hands are cold And I'm on my way Looking for the answer are we human or are we dancer pay my respects to grace and virtue send my condolences to good give my regards to soul and romance they always did the best they could and so long to devotion you taught me everything i know Wave goodbye Wish me well You gotta let me go Are we human? Or are we dancer? My sign is vital My hands are cold And I'm on my knees Looking for the answer Are we human? Dancer, will your system be alright when you dream of home tonight? There's no message we're receiving. Let me know if your heart's still bleeding. Are we human? Or are we dancer? My side is vital. My hands are cold And I'm on my knees Looking for the answer Are we human? Are we dancer? Alright That was of course The Killers And Human A band that we've toured with a bunch of times um, Great bunch of lads Absolutely brilliant um oh the next one okay somebody requested this and it's one of my favorites oh sorry sorry george sorry george it's over there um cooking uh cooking a turkey um george if you wouldn't mind just yep yeah. okay brilliant <laughs> moonwalking token here we go. Whoa. Seven. Thanks, George. You can go back to cooking that turkey for us. Um, so, um, this next song is by one of my favorite artists. Um, she is a genius. I 
really want to do a disclaimer about how high it is, but I'm not going to. Although I kind of just did by not doing it. But anyway, here we go. I had a dream. I got everything I wanted. Now what you think? If I'm being honest, it might have been a nightmare To anyone who might care Thought I could fly So I stepped off the golden Nobody cried Nobody even noticed I saw them standing right there Kind of thought they might care I had a dream I got everything I wanted But when I wake up I see You with me And you say As long as I'm here No one can hurt you Don't wanna lie here But you can learn to If I could change the way that you see yourself You wouldn't wonder why here They don't deserve you I tried to scream But my head was underwater they called me weak Like I'm not just somebody's daughter Could have been a nightmare It felt like they were right there And it feels like yesterday was a year ago But I don't want to let anybody know Cause everybody wants something from me now And I don't want to let them down I had a dream I got everything I wanted But when I wake up I see You with me And you say As long as I'm here No one can know hurt you Don't wanna lie here But you can learn to if I could change the way that you see yourself You wouldn't wonder why here They don't deserve you If I knew it all then would I do it again? I'd do it again If they knew what they said it would go straight to my head What would they say instead? If I knew it all then, would I do it again? Would I do it again? If they knew what they said, go straight to my head, what would they say instead? So that was um, Billie Eilish. Um, when I heard that song for the first time, I was just uh, just completely floored that line because everybody wants something from me now and I don't want to let them down it's just heartbreaking it's a heartbreaking line I cried the first time I heard that just, there's so much feeling in that song it's unbelievable um okay next uh oh look at that suspended as if by magic George you are absolutely smashing it this week okay <clears throat> um, six. Um, I'm going to tune up. So this is a song that I sung with uh, Lisa Hannigan um, a long time ago. Um, maybe 2007? 2007-ish. Um, and it was... Uh, 
Uh, it was written by Paul Noonan of Bell X1, who's one of the greatest Irish songwriters of all time. So I did not write this. Even though I'm singing this song, some people think I, I wrote it. I did not write it. Um, this was written by Paul Noonan. Um, burping, excuse me. Could have got away with not saying burping, though, I think. Didn't make a noise. Didn't make a burp noise. Um, so this obviously has um, Lisa singing a lot of it and you know her voice is one of the greatest voices of all time so um, it's just gonna be me unfortunately you're stuck with me for the time being um, your lip this is called some surprise your lips come some surprise they would come but they would want to come and meet in mine Never tastes like the last time Your lips come some surprise I was always a special child A circuit board to my insides I dreamed of was flying high your lips came with some surprise Your lips come with some surprise They do it want to come and meet mine They never taste like the last time Your lips come with some surprise I was never one of the boys Throwing shapes and power ploys In your arms the warmth I did find And in your seat I did recline Your lips come with some surprise They didn't want to come and meet mine They never taste like the last time Your lips come with some surprise Now that we've sat for a while You've shown me yours and I've shown you mine Even after all this time Your lips come with some surprise Your lips come with some surprise But they would want to come and meet mine They never taste like the last time Your lips come some surprise. All right. I was some surprised by by the Cake Sale, which is a brilliant album that Paul Noonan put together. Um, ooh, a while ago now, over ten years, um, and uh, that I was going to say something else about that. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Ah well. As my mum says, it must have been a lie. Um, my mum might be watching this week as well. Hello, mum. I love you. Um, I am um, sorry. She, watching live is what I mean. Hello, mum. So I was gonna do this. This band are getting request. Uh, a lot of requests. Oh yeah, sorry. What I was going to say about some surprise. That's that's loads of requests. Or came in for that. So um, okay, cool. Um, so this band is probably the most requested band. It putting it at number six this week because. Um, you know, played, I played a song from theirs last week as well and I was just playing around with this song and, and thought it might be nice 
So here we go. I wanna run, I want to hide, I wanna tear down the walls that hold me inside, I wanna reach out and touch the flame where the streets have no name. I wanna feel sunlight on my face I see the dust cloud disappear without a trace I want to take shelter from the poison rain where the streets have no name oh where the streets have no name where the streets have no name we're still building and burning down love Burning down love And when I go there I go there with you It's all I can do The city's a flood Now our love turns to rust we're beaten and blown by the wind, trampled into dust. I'll show you a place high on a desert plain where the streets have no name. Mm, the streets have no name. Where the streets have no name. Still building then burning down love Burning down love And when I go there I go there with you It's all I can do Where the streets have no name Where the streets have no name we're still building and burning down love Burning down love And when I go there I go there with you It's all I can do Something heavy just hit the floor up in the apartment above me Everybody's alright Maybe they're roller skating um, so, that was you two, obviously, with the streets have no name. Um, George, we're looking for um, the next one. Breakdancing Panda, yes. Number five, okay. So this is a Snow Patrol song that I also haven't played. Um, when we originally recorded this, we wrote the, myself and Johnny McDade wrote this together in LA at his house and um, I think that's it. And I strummed a few chords on the guitar and then I you know, wrote a vocal line and then basically then Johnny kind of built the track and there's no acoustic guitar in it so I couldn't remember how to play it <laughs> so I had to ask, I had to ask Johnny. Um, this is called Time Won't Go Slowly. It's four? It's four? No, it was six and then five. Six and then five. Right? Have we only got four left? We've only got four left. It's four. George, what the hell are you doing, man? George, what the hell are you doing, man? Totally blaming this on George. So, 
<clears throat> Apparently it's four. Um, I didn't miss one. I um, just forgot to do the thing. Oh well, should I say George Lucas? He's looking at me. He's looking at me like this, like that. How can I stay mad at that face? Um. Anyway, back to ten. Start again. Yes, I know. If you don't get it, if you don't get it right, um. No, we did five. Uh, we did five, and we did five and six. Hold on a second. Let me just double check. We definitely did. Yeah, we did one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we've done six already. Yeah, good. So we're at four. So this is Time Will Go Slowly um, by Snow Patrol um, from the reworked album. Album? Is that how you said? Album? Album? Sure, just play. Shut up. Okay. Time won't go slowly though I beg it to last I just want to be here with you That's all I ask And this could be the end of everything outside our walls And empires could fall away and cities raised And I know I'd only want to fall in love with you only want to fall in love with you Time won't go slowly though Always so fast You are the answer to Every question I've asked This could be the end of everything outside our walls And empires could fall away and cities rain and I know I'd only want to fall in love with you Only want to fall in love with you We need more time But there's a little part of me that loves it when we rush Can I go home? Knowing that I'll never feel how I do now Time won't go slowly though Always so fast You are the answer to Every question I've asked And this could be the end of everything outside our walls And empires could fall away and cities raised And I know I'd only want to fall in love with you Only want to fall in love with you We need more time But there's a little part of me that loves it when we rush Can I go home? Knowing that I never feel how I do now Time won't go slowly though. I beg it to last Time won't go slowly Beg it to last. Woo, it's high at the end there. Forgot about that. Why I was sort of laughing, smiling, whatever during that. I was enjoying it, but um, I was also just trying to think of it as I was going along. I, I, I spent so much time trying to learn the, trying to learn the um, covers this week that I forgot to learn the songs that I wrote. <laughs> okay. At least we can admit these. At least we can admit these things to each other, right? Eh? Um. So this next song is by an artist I absolutely adore. I'm trying to find a song of his that I can play is almost impossible. Uh, but he has so many requests for his songs. Um. Uh, for play God, for Dead Boys, for I mean, for so many songs. But I'm gonna do. Um. I'm gonna do Will We Talk. Um. By of course. Um. The Genius. Um, the young genius that is Sam Fender. Um, oh, for crying out loud, George. What are you doing, man? You're just sleeping this week. Too slow, too slow. 
farts. <clears throat> oh, it by magic. Three. I could not have guessed that. It's not in the right shot. Oh, okay, we can do this instead. There we go. Bingo. I don't cry out loud. Everything's falling to pieces. So, um... It's just trying to find the right key for me because um, whatever Sam Fender song you play, um, he's singing full voice. Whatever part of the fretboard I play it in, uh, there's always a part where I have to go into falsetto and he's singing full voice. About you to play. Oh, here. So he's actually playing it um, here, which is. I suppose I'm only, I suppose I'm only playing a two down. Okay, uh, okay, two down from Sam. Still gonna have to use a falsetto. Anyway, am I still talking? I can't remember. One day, blaring loudly at the speakers, fluorescent liquid in his beaker. Another night they've gone too far. She said, I don't used it to this kind of thing. Does it change the way you think of me? Thinking isn't his forte. And she said, If you dance with me, darling, if you take Dodge a Mexican standoff Catch a cab back to its flat No romance Sprawled out across the couch Can't even make his fucking face out Nature ritual she said, if you dance with me, darling, if you take me home, will it suck in the morning? Sometimes I close my eyes, and sometimes I see you fade. She said, if you dance with me, darling If you take me home We would talk in the morning <laughs> It's so freaking high Sam, how do you do it? And he's doing it here Monday Blurring early from the speaker what a voice he has. Extraordinary. Okay, speaking of voices. Number two. Okay. So, bear with me on this one. This is a person, uh, an artist that um, gets requested a lot, or got requested a lot last week whenever you guys requested so many great songs. Muppet. I don't know what that means. Muppet. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> great to get constructive criticism. Uh, the... Um, so I'm trying to remember the chords. I'm just stalling really because this one is um, vocal line changes every single time. 
So it's not gonna sound like the original, but how the hell can you sound like Prince anyway? Here we go. I never meant to cause you any sorrow. I never meant to cause you any pain. Here we go. Okay, let's start again. Never meant to cause you any sorrow Never meant to cause you any pain I only wanted one time to see you laughing So that third verse, he just, he goes on a melody expedition and I, um, and only he can get away with, with that. I can't, I can't figure it out. Mm. But, um, we went to, um, uh, did I tell you this last week? We went to, um, um, uh, when we were in Minneapolis, uh, we went to Paisley Park on Pablo's birthday and saw saw the place. It's amazing. Um anyway, I've um one That was like the worst preparation for one. It's not even straight. It's not even a straight one. Come on one. Here we go. A crooked one, that's fine. One can be crooked. 
Um, so we're down to number one. Um, one of my all time heroes. He also happens to be Northern Irish. Um, I, uh, I might need to listen to it. I might need to listen to the vocal line just to, it's gonna give away what it is, but I mean, you're gonna know when I start playing it anyway, hopefully. <laughs> of Northern Irish music. The most successful artist from Northern Ireland of all time. Um, and a legend, um, Mr. Van Morrison, obviously, yes, Van the Man, uh, Sir Van Morrison. Um, It's raining. It'll be days like this when no one's complaining. <laughs> oh dear, that's not great. We gotta have number one up there while while Van's playing. Don't know where my cello tape is. Hold on a second. <laughs> George, you are absolutely having a shocker this week. I'm not gonna lie to you, mate. You wanna have a look at yourself? Have a long, hard look at yourself. Turkey smells delicious though, I have to say. Um, okay. I'm just gonna. There'll be days like this. When there's no one complaining, there'll be days like this. There'll be days like. I can never get the vote. I don't know how many times I've heard this song. It's in it's in the hundreds. I can never get the vocal line right. Anyway, that's a good introduction, if ever there was one. Well, it's not always raining. Days like this, and there's no one's complaining. The beat days like this, and everything falls into place like the flick of a switch. But my mom told me the beat days like this. When you don't need to worry, the beat days like this. No one's in a hurry There'll be days like this When you don't get betrayed By that old Judas kiss Well, my mama told me There'll be days like this When you don't need an answer There'll be days like this When you don't need a chance, sir there be days like this And all of the parts of the puzzle Start to look like they fit Well I must remember the be days like this Everyone is up front And they're not playing tricks When you don't have no freeloaders Out to get their kicks When it's nobody's business 
the way you want to live And just remember to be days like this Yeah, these verses are the ones that I always forget the book around When no one steps on my dreams to be days like this People understand what I mean to be days like this When you ring out the changes of how everything is When my mama told me to be days like this When my mama told me to be days like this Ah, dear. Thank goodness for Van Morrison. Um, and thank you, Van, if you see this video. Thank for everything. Um, so, we've reached number one. Um, I'll stay, and uh, we're right on the R mark. Actually, we're 55 minutes because we started a little late, um, obviously, for the... Um, but I'll do a little Q and A if you if you want. Um, but I do need to um, take thirty seconds. So if you want to wait, you can wait. Hi, you may remember me from such, anyway, um, uh, yeah, uh, no, I'm not telling you what I was doing, I was, um, I was building a, a cupboard, an Ikea cupboard, um, so, um, any, I didn't remember to wash my hands, but as I say, I was building an Ikea cupboard. Um, so, but obviously you gotta wash your hands after, after you do any form of household construction. Um, um, what's George up to? He's um, still cooking on turkey. Um, are we going to help a week? Oh, sorry, I missed that. Um, Legos, these aren't questions. What are you doing, or what are you doing these days um, besides learning uh, cover versions? <laughs> I have to say a lot of my time is learning these cover versions, but um, I'm working on uh, three different albums. Um, tr uh, writing an album with Jack Knife Lee, uh, Listen Tanks album, which is a project we started 10 years ago and, and, uh, and kind of put in mothballs while Snow Patrol were on tour, etc. Um, um, uh, we're doing the Saturday Song Red album and got an errant eyebrow and um, working on some songs for Snow Patrol record as well uh, and working on a TV show. Um, you're my Foy Vance. I don't know what that means, but I, I would be very happy to have Foy Vance's uh, voice and his guitar playing ability. How many songs for Cobblestones have you finished? Um, well, that's a matter of uh, opinion. I guess you'd have to ask uh, Aoife Cran, who uh, is, um, uh, is the, the writer, um, showrunner, how many she thinks are <laughs> finished. Uh, lyrics, uh, there's no lyrics yet. They'll come with the scripts, but uh, there's about 19 or 20 song ideas on the go. Um, are you coming to Birmingham again? Yes, you better believe it. Um, <clears throat> whenever gigs are back on and safe, we're um, we're going to be out and playing for sure. Um, tell us more about the TV show. It, it's a show about a band in Dublin in 1998. Um, 
it's more than just about a band. It's um, it's it's about all sorts of things. It's brilliantly written. Um, uh, show as I say, Eva has been uh, uh, has written you know the first uh, episode and she'll write all the episodes. I think. I'm just making the music. You know what I mean. I'm not doing. I'm not anything to do with the show itself. As in, you don't have to worry about the show being good because it doesn't rely on um, my terrible TV show writing talent. Um, it'll be great because I'm not involved. Um, see you in Birmingham. We come to Preston. I'm sure we will. Um, uh, dream venue to play. Uh, dream venue to play. I'll tell you what, that first direct um, arena in Leeds is amazing. It's really amazing. Um, love. Um, there's an amazing venue in Berlin. It's like a circular circular thing what's it called is it the velodrome is it the velodrome i'm gonna look it up here berlin velodrome see if that comes in velodrome yeah cycling rink i think but they put gigs on there pretty sure that's the one oh two's very good as well it's great budapest we haven't been to budapest in a while that was the uh festival Z um Oh, I'm having to look up all these. Ziggit? Is it Ziggit? Is that a Buddha, Buddha past? Ziggit. Ziggit. If I could spell. Ziggit. Ziggit first, right? Yeah, I think that's right. Oh, the Albert Hall. My goodness, yes. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Favorite artist of all time. There's too many. Uh, there's too many. They're all... Trying to get through the door of the one of my brain once. Um, Jeff Buckley, maybe. Um, will you please tell the boys we love them? Uh, oh yes, I will do. Um, love them too. What's your PhD in, Doctor Lightbody? I have honorary doctorate. It's worth um, it's worth something to me, of course. But if somebody shouts on a plane. Um, is there a doctor on, on, on board? Uh, I'm not putting my hand up. You know, it's, um, it's, it's a piece of paper for the wall. It's, um, it doesn't endow me with any, or imbue me or endow, imbue me with any skills. Um, and it's in, it's letters, I think. So I'm good at spelling things. I'm like a doctor of spelling things. Um, do the guys in the band like the Saturday song? Right? Yes, um, everybody is. Everybody has the songs. And Johnny's been drumming on them. Pablo's been playing bass. Nathan's going to play some guitar. Um, Johnny McDade uh, is going to be doing. Uh, hopefully, going to be doing some stuff on there too. And um, you know, so everybody and obviously Ian Archer is putting the whole thing together. Um, most of the songs, as I say, Johnny um, might do a song or two here. Um, love your accent. <laughs> Thank you. Um, do you ever think you'd come, we'd come to Turkey? I'd love to go to Turkey. Hello, Mexico City. Um, yeah, I'd love to go to Turkey. Um, we haven't been before. No, hold on a second. We have been before. No, we haven't. Have we? Did we play that with you too? Terrible memory. I have a terrible memory for things. Um, <laughs> your favorite from France. <laughs> I'm bleeding the fifth on that. Uh, obviously, it's, uh, you yeah. um, know. Uh, I don't drink alcohol. Um, no, I don't uh, drink alcohol, no, but um, I used to. I, the reason why I don't drink alcohol anymore is because I used to really, really drink alcohol. So, um, have I seen Fleabag? Yes, I have, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Um, Tom Simpson just sent me a text. Pause everything. What about that? Am I back? Yes, we did play. We did play with you two um, in Istanbul. Thanks, Tommy Simpson. Thanks, everybody. I do appreciate it. Um, my brain, my memory is not good. Um, what's the status of LA gigs? I don't. I don't know. Um, I've heard some stories. Uh, some people saying that it won't be. Till 2022 I don't know I don't know at the moment I think I hear different stories every day so I'm trying not to latch on to anything 
at the moment. You know, just let it, let everything kind of go. Favorite TV show ever? That's an easy one. It's The West Wing. It's The West Wing. Is Bono cool? Yes, he is. Very cool. Lovely man. Um, have I seen Normal People? Yes, I have. It's my favorite show. I've seen it in a long, long time. Um, somebody just said slutty pizza. I don't know what that means, but sure. Um, no, no. Um, thank you for making me watch. I didn't make you watch normal people. <laughs> uh, um, are you coping in lockdown? Fine, uh, fine. I think you know what I mean. I, 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 I'm, I, I'm, I'm very, very lucky. I'm not. Um, uh, there's, there's a lot, a lot of people that um, are are having a really, really, really hard time. I'm, I'm, I feel very lucky. Um, so I'm, I'm fine. Um, Favourite lyrics from any other artist or from another artist? Uh, oh yeah, Restax, Bon Iver, everything that happens is from now on. That was going to get a tattoo on my arm. Actually, Ed and I talked about doing that. And then he, yeah, he, he did get a tattoo down his arm of that. Um, I look fine. Thank you very much. Fine. Fine. You're fine. You look, it's, I don't know if you've seen 30 Rock. Um, Dr. Spachaman, Dr. Spaceman. You look fine. Um, what other language would I love to learn? All the other languages. I sometimes have like daydreams about like being, like knowing 20 different languages. I'm just like, in my head, I'm like having conversations in lots of different languages. Yep, that's probably something I should have kept to myself. But anyway. Um, favorite food uh, is, I don't know, shepherd's pie. Uh, what do I love about Northern Ireland? So many things. So many things. Um, my family's there. Bingo. First. <sighs> Easy peasy. Uh, my friends, uh, obviously. And um, gibberish. Thank you. Um, and, uh, and the arts scene there is incredible. Um, and Northern Irish sport. And not, loads, of, loads of things. Absolutely loads of things. Um, picky pool, of course. I love picky pool. That's a, a, a it was an outdoor pool in Bangor when I was a lad. Now it's a place you can go and ride those uh, swan, you know, the swan boat, you pedal, swan pedal boats or whatever. But it used to be a swimming pool when, when I were a lad. Favorite pudding, sticky toffee pudding. But it might have just been because you said the word pudding, so I immediately thought of that. If you had said dessert, I might have answered it differently. Banoffee, probably. Um, is that Mark still on your wall? Yes, it is, yeah. I mean, yeah, there's so many. Um, but don't tell the landlord. I'm going to paint over them. Um, no, I'll, I'll fix them probably. Uh, what time was I born? I don't know. Best place to visit in Northern Ireland. There's so many amazing places. Um, I mean, there's the obvious sort of t touristy places like um, Giant's Causeway and um, Carrickery Rope Bridge and, <laughs> and all the new landmarks like all the Game of Thrones kind of sites. But um, my favourite place in Northern Ireland is uh, the beaches along the along Belfast Lock. Um, beautiful. Um, can you... Can you tour your record collection sometime? I did a little bit of a tour of it last time. Last time I did it. I did pull out a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, section. Neil Young after the gold rush. Buffalo Springfield. Again. Neil Young. Everybody knows this is nowhere. Neil Young. Comes the time. Neil Young. Crosby sells Nash and Young. Neil Young on the beach. Crosby sells Nash without Young. Buffalo Springfield. Neil Young. Crazy Horse, Russ Never Sleeps. Graham Nash, David Crosby together. Crosby, Stills and Nash. <laughs> Graham Nash, Wild Tales. Oh, this is gonna break. 
Uh, ACDC. I wear to hell. ACDC, let the be rock. Blondie. Blondie Parallel Lines. Eric Clapton. This one of my favourite Eric Clapton albums. Brilliant. Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix. The Kinks. Iggy Pop. Well, speaking of the Giants Causeway, there it is. The front cover of this Led Zeppelin album is the Giants Causeway. And Norn Iron. Spencer Davis Group. The Carpenters. Roberta Black. Four Tops. Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye. Let's get it on. Marvin Gaye, what's going on? Marvin Gaye again. Marvin Gaye, Tommy, Tommy Terrell. Sly and the Family Stone. Sly and the Family Stone. This is an American flag, but it's Sly and the Family Stone. It's going to break. Sly and the Family Stone. Sly and the Family Stone. Sly Stone. Okay. So there's some stuff. So there you go. Um, there's all sorts of stuff in there. That was mostly like, legendary stuff. There's, you know, obviously modern things in there too. Um, so, gee whiz. Any chance of, an, of one of the other guys? Yes, I know. I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm working on it. I'm working on that. Um, Neil Young and Pearl Jam are amazing at I didn't see them at Slane, but they are, they are amazing together. I've seen like live videos of them together. Brilliant. Um, are your records in alphabetical order? No. Will you come to Colombia? We went to, excuse me, Bogota on the last um, Latin American tour and it was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. The gig was amazing. So yeah, we've been thinking about wanting to come back. Um, Will I play something? To say? I played for an hour there, so I think I think I'm done for playing for today. Um, do you like Elbows music? Yes, absolutely. One of the best bands of all time. Very lucky to have toured with them many times, uh, including one insane tour of Australia in was it 2011? We played the V Festival, which is a touring festival um, around Australia. And there's lots of little side shows as well. Um, and it was us, Elbow, Madness, The Killers, um, The Kills, Kaiser Chiefs, Duffy, um, Jenny Lewis. It was lo I mean, the, there was loads of amazing artists on that tour and it was so much fun. Ridiculous amount of fun. Um, playgrounds for Divorce. Yeah, okay, play, play, Playgrounds for Divorce. Um, if... Uh, if... Um, if I can, I'll see if I can figure it out. Um, yes, I love Stevie Nicks and um, and Fleetwood Mac and yeah, I have. Yeah, there's Fleetwood Mac, and Stevie Nicks in there. Um, Tom, Natalie, I said 2011. Natalie Nassim has just te texted me to say it was 2008. You see, I don't know time, that dates. Um. It's too bright to be in Northern Ireland. Yes, I'm in LA. Yep, I've been I've been here since the start of the lockdown. Well, before the lockdown. Um, if I wasn't in Snow Patrol, what career would I have had? Well, I went to university to do English with a view to being a teacher. Um, which um, I would have enjoyed. I might have had to change my name, um, because school was hard enough as a student uh, with the name Lightbody, but um, it might have been tricky as a teacher um, too. Um, but that was the plan. What's my, you know, my niece has never told me what her favorite song is. Um, so I don't know. Um, do I have different, uh, same records back? No, different. My record collection is much um, bigger at home because I've, that's the record collection that I've had that followed me from, from Dundee to Glasgow to London, back to Northern Ireland when I moved back home in 2010 um so um so it's bigger um is lightbody scottish uh yeah i think it is a scottish name or at least uh, some of the origins of it are scottish yeah um 
there's lots of different, I've looked up the genealogy of the name. It said pause due to poor connection. I think we're back. Um, worst school subject. Oh, that's easy because it's still my worst subject. Uh, maths or math as they say in the United States, if you're from here. We say maths. Um, uh, well, I'm just terrible at it. I still can't do my nine times tables. That's how bad I am. Um, terrible. I love Travis. Travis gave us one of our earliest tours. Now I'm gonna get the dates wrong on this again, but I think it was one of our earliest um, support tours. We were playing, we played a lot of shows to, you know, by ourselves, you know, like tours where we would play to like 20 to 40 people a night. But Travis was one of the first bands to take a, a chance on us and bring us on tour with them. And they were so lovely to us. All those guys are really, really lovely. Really, really sweet, sweet, sweet guys. Um, so yeah, massive fan of them. Always will be, always will be. Um, <clears throat> please sing Harvest Moon. Actually, it was written down. Harvest Moon was written down. Um, well, there you go. You can't see it'll be in. It'll be backwards, but you can if you can read backwards, then you can see that there. Um, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Um, have I have we ever been to South Asia? Yes, we've been to uh, so, South um, Southeast Asia quite a lot. You know, we played China, Japan, um, the Philippines, uh, South Korea. Um, uh, played Indonesia. Um, um, Thailand, played, we played, we played loads of places. Um, love it out there. Food's amazing. People are amazing. Everybody's awesome. Um, there's a, oh, I missed that. Sorry. Bed shape by Keen. Keen is on here as well. I did two lists. It's not on this list, but it is on the other list. Um, I loved your show in Brazil in Lollapalooza. Thank you. Um. That was bonkers, wasn't it? There was a massive storm that day, and we we um, we only by the time the storm ended, we were there was only half an hour left of our set that we could play, so we had to play a really quick set. But I'm glad you liked it. Um, we were gutted we couldn't play the whole thing, but Brazilian crowds, man, are unbelievably good, unbelievably good. I've lovely hands. <laughs> Thank you. Funniest moment on tour. Oh, there's just uh, we're la we tend to be laughing most of the time, which is good. Um, mostly at our own insanity, but falling off stages is always it's always hilarious. Um, I, yes, I'm fine. Thank you very much. How are you? Um, I have to leave. I have to leave for work soon. Want to come? <laughs> Uh, I'm more. Good luck at work. Um, do you ever write uh, your biography? No. 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 It'd be too. I'd, uh, it'd be too much work to write a biography. To write a book. <laughs> I've spent my whole life. I've spent twenty five years writing songs, and songs fit on a page. You know, it's like books are far too long. Have I seen The Bachelor? No, I haven't seen The Bachelor, but I've heard about it. Um, do I like Australian football, Australian rules football? Yeah, when I see it, I don't see it very often, but when I see it, I'll, I'll, I'll watch it. I watch all sport, all sports. Um, obviously, there's not anything happening right now, sport-wise, not, not that much anyway. But, um, have I seen The Last Dance? Yes, I have. I love it. I love it. I can't wait for the next two episodes that are coming on. Sunday comes on. Sunday or Saturday. Um, uh, what time is your turkey dinner? It's, uh, um, what's on your playlist right now? I can tell you what I put on my last playlist. What did I put on my last playlist? No, I haven't done a playlist in a wee while. Um, so this might be a few weeks, a few weeks old. Um, Switchblade by Nikki. Little blast of it. Might not sound great through my, this, my UK phone going into my American phone. Who knows?
That's it. Awesome. There you go. That was one of the songs on it. Uh, can you rap? No, somebody asked me that last week as well. I can't, the, the, the closest thing I could get to rapping was on the, I played Time Will Go Slowly earlier in the gig, uh, earlier on today. And that line, whatever that line is. Uh, oh, for crying out loud. There's a little part of me that loves it when we rush. That's about as close to rapping as I get, and time will go slowly. If anyone's heard that. Um, but I love hip hop, and I've loved hip hop for a long, long time. So ever since Tom Simpson introduced me to it, um, when I was, what would have been 19, maybe? Indie kid until then, but jumped straight into um, hip hop and soul, and dance music when Tom Simpson came into my life. Uh, how was meeting Marlena? Oh my goodness, yeah. So for my, my, fav my favorite song of all time is California Soul by Marlena Shaw, and that has a lot to do with Tom Simpson as well. Um, he used to play that as part of his DJ set. And um, I, um, I love that song so much, and I, I, I just love Marlena Shaw, she's a legend. So. For my birthday, we were on tour, we were playing in Vegas and um, our managers, Peter and Cliff, organized for me to meet Marlena Shaw. It was a secret and I was just sort of brought up to our dressing room. Everyone's kind of going. And I was brought up to the dressing room and then walks Marlena Shaw and it was the greatest. Um, I sat and chatted with her for an hour and she told me about all sorts of things, her life. Um, it was unbelievable. Have I ever DJed? Yes, I DJed for a long time with Tom. Well, <clears throat> the way I see it, the way I used to explain it was, um, there's a difference between playing records and DJing. I played records. Um, I was not a very good mixer. And Tom Simpson is a DJ, still is a DJ, one of the best ever. So he tried to teach me how to mix. But um, I was. It, sometimes it worked and sometimes, when it doesn't work, it's very, very noticeable. Um, what's my worst defect? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so many things. So many things. Any bird watching lately? Um, yes. Um, there have been, there's a little hummingbird that comes to my balcony that just decides to visit me every day. So I'll sit and watch him or her. Uh, Tom is just texting me saying he's very jealous of me meeting Marlena Shaw. I know. Sorry, Tommy. Ah, uh, uh, dear. Um, I wish you were there for it as well. Um, will, I, will we ever will I ever play the the whole lightning strike acoustically? I don't know if it, it'll work acoustically. Um, I could try. I definitely have less people watching at the end than you would have had at the start, <laughs> but <laughs> I could try it. Um, favorite Sting song, like from, from Sting or the police, from, from his whole, the, every song he wrote, um, every little thing you do is magic. Love it. No, there's so many, so many police songs, so many police songs that I love. Um, but uh, we, um, we were walking, we were in a room with, uh, I don't know, awards thing. We were getting an award <laughs> uh, for chasing cars for amount of radio plays and that. And Sting was getting a Lifetime Achievement Award. And when we were going up for our award, and they said, chasing cars, no patrol. And we were walking up for our award. We, I walked past Sting's table and he said, that's a great song, man. That's a great song. And I was just like, ah. <laughs> just if I had a had a like a delightful panic attack um so that was a nice moment um anyway 
That was a little stinging story. Favorite 90s dance song? Favorite 90s dance song? Daft Punk, probably. Probably a Daft Punk song. Around the World. Right? That was 90s, right? It was probably Daft Punk. Nina Simone, yep. There's Nina Simone records behind me. Um, unbelievable. Incredible songwriter. Um, rhythm as a dancer, yes. Rhythm as a dancer. Was rhythm as a dancer, yeah, it would have, it would have been early 90s, right? Yeah. Favorite 80s song. Um, probably Step On. Happy Mondays. Step on by the Happy Mondays, maybe. Uh, it's up there anyway, top five. Would you write a Eurovision song? Uh, no. And, uh, no offense to it at all. I, I think it's brilliant. It's a, uh, and I really enjoy it. I, I still love Terry Wogan's um, commentary and I love Graham Norton's commentary these days. Um, it's a lot of fun, but I don't, I don't think so. Is George Best the best player he ever played? In my opinion, yes. But I think, you know, like the modern game, you know, it's just, there's there's a different type of athlete, you know what I mean? Back when George was playing in the 70s, in six, 60s and 70s, but his, at his peak, uh, you know, it's like, he's not built like Cristiano Ronaldo or something like that, you know, but um, it's hard to kind of compare modern footballers to 60s and 70s footballers, but in my opinion, he is. Um, Somewhere clock is ticking is on uh, final. Have you figured it out? Yeah, I, I know how to play it. I know how to play it. It's something like this. It's something like that. But um, uh, actually, it's funny. We uh, we could a uh, favorite Tom Hanks movie. Uh, so many, so many are come big. Maybe. Maybe big, but but so many. There's so many good ones. Captain Phillips, um, Castaway. Uh, I mean, so many. They're all coming to my head. But um, um, what was I going to say there? I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh yeah, there. There's going to be next week's gig will be on a different platform. Um, we're going to be announcing it um, this week. I think it's next week's gig. I think it's next week's gig. Um, there's going to be a series of gigs um, around Northern Irish albums. And Final Straw is one of the albums that they've picked. The OES Centre have picked in cooperation with Loudon. And um, two other artists, Northern Irish artists, that we're going to be announcing soon are going to do two thirds, a third of the record each, and I'm gonna do the last third. So, there we are. That's next week's show. Um, thank you. What's up? Man, not much. What's up with you? Um, next week, I think it's gonna be next week. Uh, don't, you know, like I'll, we'll, we'll announce it for sure. Um, any George Michael song, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, for, uh, praying for time, praying for time, right? That's what that's that's the name of the song, right? Um, George Michael. Maybe it's not. I would have thought it would have been on. Yeah, it is praying for time. This song is extraordinary. If anyone's not heard this song, I, you know, about, about you've not, about, I'm, I'm sure you've heard it, but have another listen to it. Just get your headphones on. It's unbelievable. It's one of the most incredible pieces of music. Anyway, have a listen. 
If you haven't listened to it, it is unbelievable. Favourite act from Live Aid? Well, I mean, U2. You know, I mean, Queen's performance was extraordinary, of course, but U2's um, performance was just, I mean, there's so much heart in it. It's so loud. Sorry, I do apologise. So loud. I shouldn't have played it so loud. I'm terribly sorry. Did you have that blast out of your speakers? I apologise. Do you dance around your apartment? Um, yeah, sometimes. Not as much as I used to. <laughs> Who hasn't heard that song? I know, I, 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 I assume everybody's heard it, but I'm, what I'm saying is, I'm not saying check out this new song. I'm saying have a listen again with headphones on. It's an extraordinary experience. Um, it was fine, somebody says it's fine. I know, and that's, there you go. Everybody's, everybody's got an opinion and that's fine too. Um, I'm deaf in one ear, not loud as good. So I have some deafness as well, mate. I feel you. Um, do I miss my mum? Yes, I do. Um, so I'm trying to read. Oh, thank you, Angela. I really appreciate that. Um, do you swear? Yes, I do. I do. I swear a lot. If anybody's seen us play live, they'll know that I swear. I, and and any time I do swear, and I hear it back, I don't watch us back live very often. But when I when I hear myself saying, I I just I, I don't like it. I just don't like it. But I do have a terrible I do have a terrible mouth on me. <laughs> Effin and Jeffin, as they say. I've heard in Healer. Yeah, they're brilliant. Really good. Um, um, Bono's, Bono's song, it's a fantastic band. Um, Potty Mouth. The Blue Nile, absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant band from, from, Scot no, from Scotland, yeah. Um, another great band, phenomenal band, the Blue Nile. Um, they have a song called Stay. I wonder, is it up? Well, I'm sure it's bound to be up here. This is my, it's my favorite Blue Nile song. Check it out. So that's the Blue Niles Stay. Great song. Um, tell us a joke. I don't, I'm terrible at jokes. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, heart shaped box. She has me. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. I don't want to take requests right now, but I will, I will, I'll remember that. Um, do I like the band live? Yes, I do. What was there? What was? I mean, they have plenty of songs. says, but um, I alone. That was my favourite song of theirs. Do I like a French song? Yeah, I just talked about my love of um of Daft Punk, but. Um, and a, Phoenix are incredible. There was a band. I'm just checking. Yeah, they've released something recently. That's brilliant. Um, called Tahiti 80, or in a Northern Irish accent, Tahiti 80. Um, and uh, heart, a song called Heartbeat on their first, I think it was their first album. Heartbeat or Yellow Butterfly. Will you ever see me like a possible lover again? I am. Tahiti, Tahiti 80, or as I say, Tahiti 80. Phenomenal band. Um, who's your best friend? It's no control. Come on, now. I love my brother's own. Um, favorite Prince song?
Spacing on the Name. Spacing on the Name is the first song on... It's the first song on... Um, hold on a second. Oh, there's so many Prince albums. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's an album a year. Puts our output to shame. It really does. Oh my god, I'm still scrolling down through them. Oh yeah, brilliant. Brilliant band, brilliant songs. Um, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking of. Um, I, I, I would die for you, maybe. Amazing song. Um, favorite breakfast meal? I have porridge every day. Um, so, porridge? Favorite Elvis song is Suspicious Minds. It's just... Favorite Oasis song, um, uh, Columbia. To be honest, I think from the first album, I think that used to be my favorite song. When that album first came out, I played that that, that song more than any other ones. So I'll go with Columbia. Um, can you read music? No, no, I can't. I learned um, when I was at ten or eleven. Um, at when I was playing the recorder. And uh, it doesn't sound like that. And um, and then I forgot. So, um, <clears throat> here's a slide away. Um, um, nine seventy five would be something from the new, from something from the album just before. Um. Give yourself a try, yeah. Give yourself a try. Um, or love it if we made it. Love it if we made it. It's a brilliant, a brief uh, inquiry into online relationships is a fantastic record. Um, um, do you do any acting? No, not really. Uh, I was in a couple of couple of things, but very like blink and you'll miss me. Terence Trent Darby, sign your name across my heart. June. Um, <laughs> put some forest fruit in your porridge. It's my fave. Berries and such. Um, favorite ha ha Harry Potter character? I don't know. Dumbledore? He's a, 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 yeah. He makes me happy. Um, I've, yes, Cara Dillon's such a such an incredible voice. Incredible voice. Love, I love Jellyfish. The the first, oh, it might have been the second Jellyfish album. It's called Spilt Milk. Unbelievable! Every single song on that album is a is a. It's one of those albums that are just unskippable. Unbelievable. Um. <laughs> hair metal. Yeah. I mean, pour some sugar on me. <laughs> uh, I suppose it's not really metal. Um, that's more hair rock. Uh, hair metal. And, uh, do you mean hair metal? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't quite know what you mean by hair metal. Is that like hair? Is hair metal? That uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Um. Brazilian song. I don't know enough about. I don't know enough Brazilian music. I'm terribly sorry. Um, how did you end up working with Peter Buck? Um, well, Jack Knife Lee. I came up with the idea of Tired Pony, and um, 
Jack Knifley, who's Snow Patrol's producer, was in Tower Pony, and I asked him, he'd been working with R.E.M., he did two, the last two R.E.M. albums, he produced them. So I asked him to ask Peter. I'd met Peter a couple of times, but not, I didn't know him well enough to ask him myself. And Peter just, Peter and Scott McCoy said yes. Um, so it was unbelievable getting to do to make two um, two albums with uh, Peter Buck and Scott McCoy from uh, from REM. Craziest thing you ever saw on stage? We were playing tea in the park. Uh, this would have been, I don't know, two thousand and seven, maybe. Um, and there was a guy dressed as Spider-Man that had climbed up one of the kind of like the, the telecom towers or whatever. He was up at the top of it. And the, somebody from the festival, the message was passed to me from somebody the, from the festival saying that I had to tell him to get down. So I had to kind of talk him down from the telecom I mean, he could have fallen on someone. He could have fallen himself and hurt himself, but he also could have hurt somebody else too. Um, but it was a hilarious kind of... He didn't hurt himself or anybody. Um, so the story is hilarious um, of me on the microphone trying to coax him down. Okay, Spider-Man, your dinner's ready. Your mom says you have to come home. Anyway, it was... Uh, there, might be, uh, there might be something online. You can watch that. Um... Favourite Damien Rice song? There's so many good ones. Um, Blower's Daughter is an obvious, obvious choice, but it, 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 might, it might be my favourite. Um, damn wedgie, wedgies, wedgies, <laughs> for a second, I've misread that as wedgies. Um, no. Um, uh, do I write Snow Patrol songs in the same way you do the Saturday song right? So, no. No, not, not, not really. Um, it's a completely brand new way. I've actually try, tried that way, the Saturday song right way at home a few times. At home. So, always at home. Um, I've tried it um, that way a few times here um, where I've written down a bunch of ideas, just written them down on the page, a couple of pages of ideas, and then just referred back to it. Um, yeah, works, works reasonably well. Um, have you a top three films? Oh, it, it's just, it's just too hard. There's too many. There's just too many. Um, Once Upon a Time in America is up there, but Empire Strikes Back is up there as well. Um, um, Godfather one or two is up there too. Anyway. It's too many. Um, the Water Boys, yes, they're awesome. Um, I've never met Peter Frampton though. Favorite foreign film? Um, so many great ones. There is a um, oh, film. Uh, what do you call it? Oh my goodness. I can't remember the name of it. It's like a thriller, French. Don't, um, I'll never be able to figure it out. Brotherhood of the Wolf. This is a great film. It's got Vincent Cassell in it. Um, anything with Vincent Cassell in it, really. Lion, incredible. Um, anything with him in it, love him. Um, Whereas I well behaved as a kid. No, kinda. Favorite Saturday Night Live cast group. Um. Well, I mean the original group was. I mean, pretty much all legends, right? I mean, you got Chevy Chase and Dan Aykroyd, um, Gilda Radner, like I mean, so many people in there. Um, and then like the mid noughties group of you know, Amy Poehler, Tina Fey, Will Farrell, Jimmy Fallon. Um, I mean, it's ridiculous. Um, uh, Chris, was Chris Rock in there as well? 
um, at some point. I think he was in there at some point. Um, no, it would it would have been the night would have been the nineties. Um, so yeah, so the mid the mid to the mid two thousands group, I think. That's pretty much every American comedy movie right now has got one at least one of those people, or every comedy TV show. You know, out of that, you got all the Will Ferrell movies, you got Parks and Rec, you got Thirty Rock, you got I mean, so many things. Um, anyway, uh, yes, I saw that. I haven't caught up to date with with Westworld yet. I'm, uh, I got sidetracked, but um, yeah, obviously, um, John Belushi as well is in there. Uh, favorite Rocky film. I actually really liked um, uh, the first one's amazing, obviously. Um, but I really like Creed, the first Creed, uh, which you know Rocky doesn't fight in it. Technically, it's not a Rocky film, but it's from that um, ilk. Vikings is great. Yeah, I got up to season four on Vikings. Um, yeah, Michael B. Jordan is fantastic in, in those films, the Creed films. Don't wear a watch. I do still watch Jeopardy. I adore it. It's my favorite, sh my favorite like non-scripted uh, show. U.S. or U.K. Office. Um, depends on what mood. I mean, really, if I'm in the mood to be like, if I if I've got if I'm made of stern stuff one day, then the UK office. Um, but if I want a cozy, cozy feeling at the U the US one. Um, do I chase cars? Yep, every day. I'm just running after them all the time. That's why I wrote the song. This is England's amazing. Um, favorite frames, favorite frame song. Um, Revelate. What's the meaning behind chocolate? Um, I've told that story a few times before. It's definitely on, I'm on record with that story. I'm not going to tell it right now. It doesn't put me in a great light, but here we are. Um, so far, Couch. I don't know. I can't remember. What is the, what is the, the UK version? What's the UK one and what's the American one? Sometimes it blurs. Sometimes it blurs. I would probably say couch. I would probably say couch. Is that American or U US? Uh, UK or Amer American or Irish? I don't know. Um. Oh, I just kicked. <laughs> Flip me sideways. Um, you're welcome. Uh, how far do I run every day? Um, not that far. I don't run every day. I do. I do other things. Kind of mix it up a bit. My um, there's nowhere I can run. I, I would in different times. I would run on the field. There's a, f a, f a football field. Um near me but it's all shut up at the moment so i can't get on it um so i would run on the softer football field but run on the hard ground i feel like i can only do that twice a week um my old knees jumped off the drum kit too many times um what's in your guitar collection besides loud um if, uh, Gretsch and Fender, things like that. Nathan's the guitar um, collector. He has lots and lots, lots of guitars. I'm not really much of a guitar collector. I have a few. Um, do I write a diary? No, I used to. I used to, but I don't. I don't anymore. Best character in the West Wing. How can you choose the best character in the West Wing? It's unbelievable. Like everybody's great. Um, CJ, probably. Um, although I do love Josh. I do love. I mean, it's hard. I mean, you see, once you start talking about it, how do you not love Sam and Toby, the president, Leo, 
Donna. I mean, how do you not love them all? They're all amazing. Um, but but yeah, Josh and CJ maybe maybe just edge it a tiny bit, maybe a tiny bit. I love them all. I love them all. Josh for funnies, CJ for integrity. Um, covering Elton John song. The, Elton John, Sir Elton John, excuse me, is um, a legend, as we all know, but so many chords in his songs. I tried to learn Tiny Dancer for this week, but it's like, it's just too complicated. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it. I'll keep trying, I'll keep trying, but um, how the new songs come in, they're coming good. Um, the Saturday Songwrite songs are all coming. I'm going to be on Chris Evans' radio show talking about the Saturday song right again. I was on there a month ago, going back on this Monday morning. Um, so it's Virgin Radio in the UK to talk about it and to play a song from the last four weeks. And um, so Ian's working on that one. It's gonna be last Saturday song. So song song from week eight. Week eight. Um, so there we go. Any album name for Saturday Song, right? No, I haven't thought about the album name for it yet. What I was sort of, think, sort of do is maybe we'll have a wee discussion on the next Saturday Song, right? Or the, the next few. But the album's going to be called What Charity It Goes To. Uh, because we've got to pick one, unfortunately. It can't go to multiple charities, apparently. It all has to go so that it can just basically go to, directly to one charity. So we have to, we have to pick one. Um, and there's lots of obviously lots of things at the moment that are important and um, we'll have to figure it out we just call it gibberish yeah um but hi jen how's it going um uh mental health yeah i mean could be mental health could be could be music related it could be health related you know health is the most important thing at the moment for everybody so it might be um it might be something like that. Um, just call it Saturday song, right? Could yeah, could do. But we'll we'll chat about it on the on Saturday, which is a couple of couple of days away. Um, Northern Ireland Music Fund, it, yeah, could be you know could be something like that. I I I think it I think it would be better. I think it would be good if it was a charity that was you know a global a global charity of some sort. If we can find one that will will help. Will benefit you know every because there's people from every all around the world that are involved in this Saturday song right thing and it's been it's been amazing to see so many people from so many different countries on it um so i don't i don't think it's fair just to sort of single out one country but we'll, we'll figure it out we'll figure it out um straight straight from quarantine straight out of quarantine um Hello, Aran, how's it going? Um, what advice would I give to my younger self? Oh, I'd be scared to give advice. I, I, I like the way my life um, has sort of turned out. Um, so I'd be scared to give, a, give, give him, me, him, younger, younger fella um, advice. I'd probably tell him to maybe calm down on the drink but I wouldn't have listened anyway I don't think you get to a place where you you're able to figure out what's best for you and sometimes that doesn't happen until you're 40 which is, which is what happened to me biggest fear I mean it's irrational because I don't really swim in the ocean very much but sharks probably it's like if sharks learn how to figure out you know how to get on the land like shark with a jacket on and a briefcase walking down the street one day I'm really gonna shit myself so um, hopefully that won't happen um, love the way you say dance in India <laughs> if you ever uh, British shows um, I'll go British and Irish um, Father Ted would be top of the list um, Spaced Black Adder uh, uh, something more modern drama, dramas, 
uh, unforgotten, normal people, uh, uh, broad church, um, line of duty. So many good ones. So many good afterlife. Yeah, yeah. Sherlock. Yeah. Good peep show. These are all good, by the way. I'm not going to disagree with anybody because I'm sure you're going to. You're going to um, say ones about Taskmaster. Yep, love Taskmaster. Um, I have this sort of fantasy of like being on it, but I think what will happen when I was, if I go on, well, I'm not going to be asked to be on it, I'm not a comedian, but if I, if I ever did go on it, um, I'd fall to pieces. I'd f fall to pieces in, uh, in like a heartbeat. You know, it'd be like the first thing, okay, um, see which egg has been boiled when you can't touch the egg and here's some chopsticks and a bin liner and this guy and you know it's like one of those things where you just i think i'd lose my mind if anybody's not seen taskmaster then this is all just utter gibberish to you but i would advise you to watch taskmaster it's fantastic um um Black books line that makes you laugh the most. Um, there's so many, there's so many good ones. Um, I'm trying to think. No, I can't think of any because it's been a long time since I watched it. Oh, none's coming to me. It's a fantastic show. Um, it's my star sign. It's Gemini. Go figure it. No idea what you're talking about. That's okay. You're uh, Brazil. You're from Brazil. You're not going to have seen Taskmaster probably. That's okay. I'll move on to th more uh, things, general things. Favorite book or writer? Um, uh, maybe um, Jonathan Safran Four, maybe. Um, everything's illuminated or um, um, extremely loud and incredibly close um, or Nicole Krauss History of Love um, or Jennifer Egan Manhattan Beach A Visit from the Goon Squad I mean I think I said this last week anything by Jennifer Egan I'm going to devour it um, Bill Bryson's great as well um, favorite footballer other than George Best, uh, Eric Cantona, um, Zinedine Zidane. Actually, Zinedine Zidane might be the my, my favorite, foot, like the way he played football. Like he used his whole body. If you ever see like clips of him, like he's able to like cushion it on his arse sometimes, or cushion it like you know in like awkward, strange places, and he's the way he moves is is something un otherworldly. So, yeah, I go with Zidane and Cantona. I mean, I could, you know. George Best, Zidane and Cantona, that's not too bad. It's not a bad three there. Um, Favourite stand-up at the moment? Um, Dave Chappelle. Bill Burr. Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. He's unbelievable. Um, do I watch cricket? Yes, I do. Um, I'm gonna. We'll say. In six minutes, I've been on for two hours, so we'll say we'll say we'll we'll, we'll tie it up. In six six minutes. Cricket. I love cricket. I played cricket when I was a kid. I was wasn't very good at it, but uh, I loved it. Um. What food do I hate? <laughs> um. I don't. Um. What do I hate? Um, there used to be a pudding uh, in uh, at school, semolina, semolina pudding. I still have um, uh, PTSD from that. I could never, I could never, um, I could never eat that again. Um, how did I? It's, <laughs> come on, Chad. Uh, um, thought I'd be vegan. No, 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 I'm not. Um, I keep trying to be more, eat more vegetables, but um, but no, I try. Um, um, 
tapioca. Yeah, I think it. I think it was like tapioca. If that's the same, semolina tapioca. I think they're the same type of. I think they're the same type of things. Um, <laughs> semolina school pudding looked like frog spawn. Yeah, sim similar to that. Um, I don't want to eat frog spawn, but I'd probably eat it before I would eat semolina. Um, fish and fish and chips. Jen has said tapioca is dope. Fuck off. <laughs> um, each to their own. I say, you know, eat what you like. Um, am I patient? No, I don't think so. I'm more patient now than I used to be. I was very, very impatient as a as a as a kid as a a kid in my twenties. Slightly more patient now, but I still have um, I still have a lot of impatience. Um, yeah, I try and, um, I try and not be, but, um, yes, Jen taught me yoga, by the way, just, I don't know what's happening there, but I'm just, I'm having her back. Um, uh, oh, that's very nice. Seem laid back. I know. Isn't always the ones that seem laid back. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm laid back about um, a, a lot of things, but I think when it comes to like, um, trying to figure out things, trying to figure out things, like trying these, doing these covers. Drive myself mad, uh, I drive myself mad, but I also enjoy it, and I also laugh at myself quite a lot as well. And I do have moments where I'm being impatient, and I suddenly realise that I am, and have like hysterical laughter. That also could be a sign of like madness or um, losing my mind. Um, have I ever done a Mayor's Briggs test? No. Why do I? Why have I heard of that? And I don't. I don't know what that is. Um, I haven't seen yesterday. I know Ed's in it. Um, I haven't seen it. Um, um, am I a perfectionist? Uh, no, I think if you've seen my um, the live shows that I've been doing, you'll know I'm not a <laughs> I'm not a perfectionist. Um, I think I'd like to be um, better. I think that's what it is, being better. I think being aware of being able to reach a certain standard. I'm not meeting that standard, like going, ending up here. I think that's what frustrates me sometimes, but, but perfection is, it will, will drive you mad. Um, <laughs> Graham, Graham Hopkins, do you really love me? Yes, Graham, with all my heart. Graham has played some drums on the Saturday song, right? Uh, songs are sounding amazing. Um, great. Uh, let me tell you a story. The first week, Saturday Songwrite song, um, we sent to Graham, and he set up six iPhone. He couldn't figure out a way to record, um, so he set up uh, him, his family, those kids, got everybody's phone together, put six iPhones around the his drum kit, and hit record on all of them, and played the drums, and then sent six files to Ian, and Ian's put it all together, and it sounds freaking amazing. So that's Graham Hopkins. He's a legend. Um, and yes, I do love you for that and for so many other things. Um, oh, are you in love with someone? Yes, I've just said I'm in love with Graham Hopkins. Um, you should take a, 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 an MB te uh, test. It explains a lot. Okay. Um, Uh, fair play to Graham. Yeah. <laughs> Last movie I saw. See, I've been watching so many TV shows. Um, I just, you know what, you know what Amazon and it like flashes up things that you might like. And it flashed up a discovery of witches, which I'd never heard of. I apologize to Deborah Harkness, the writer of that book series um i'd never i'd never heard of it and i clicked on the you know they've done a tv adaptation of it 
and I started watching it and I, I couldn't stop. It was amazing. Loved it. Um, so last movie was probably ex, probably Extraction, the, um, the Chris Helmsworth one, the Netflix one, which I enjoyed very much. I love a good action film. Um, Toy Story, I love Toy Story. Matthew Good is phenomenal in it. Both the leads are from everybody's great in it. Matthew Good is really good in it. The capture, yes, the capture is fantastic. Um, I keep they keep saying there's going to be a second season, and I, I, every time I look, it just doesn't. I mean, obviously, there's nothing being filmed at the moment, but I thought it would have been filmed already, and it would have been out by now. But there's no sign of it. Um, what time of day am I most creative? Unfortunately, it's late at night between 12 and 4 o'clock in the morning and I'm trying to shift my bedtime earlier so it means I sort of miss that time um, most of the time but I, I, I need to I need to start sleeping better so I figure I'll find a new time to be creative uh, I've never watched Dark on Netflix but you're not the first person that's mentioned that to me um, Jack Knifley mentioned that to me as well um, can I... <laughs> Jed, can I pay you to babysit my son over FaceTime? <laughs> uh, yeah. No. Yeah, sure. Why not? No. Um, I don't think that's uh, wise. Um, fa the old FaceTime. People, people aren't doing that, are they? They're not doing FaceTime babysitting, are they? I, I think, I'm pretty sure that was a joke. Um, okay. Um, Downton Abbey. Yeah, I watched all Downton Abbey. I loved it. Um... A lot of love for, a lot of love for dark here. Dark, dark. Uh, seems like it'd be my next TV adventure. Um, I'll write that down. Okay, I'm gonna hit the road, get myself some lunch. Um, take care, everybody. Uh, loads of love, and um, I'll see you Saturday, hopefully. Um, do join us on Saturday for some Saturday songwriting. Um, we're coming to you know up to the up to the album mark, so we'll have nine. If we get a song on Saturday, it'll be ten songs. So technically, that could be an album. Um, but we'll do a couple more after that. Um, loads of love, everybody. Uh, see you Saturday, hopefully. And um, yeah, take care. <laughs>